Hey, what's going on you guys? Tristan Montgomery here, man. Excited to be on live with you guys on tonight. Um, I know yesterday I went a little bit, got on live a little bit earlier than I usually do tonight. All the way around, a little bit later, <laughs> it's been a, it's a, a busy day, man. But first off, man, happy Thursday. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. One day away from Friday, man. Excited about it. Uh, down here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, man. Um, it has been a little bit of a rainy day today, man. So we are getting some rain today. Ron, what's going on, man? Appreciate you hopping on. Uh, feel free. Um, if you're tuning in live, comment below live. I would love to give you um, a shout out. You know, give you a shout out uh, for plugging in, man. But appreciate you guys hopping on today. We're going to be talking about something today. Um, when it comes to diabetes prevention, you know, it, it, for a lot of families out there, this is something that, you know, runs in a family. And we're going to talk about five key ways today uh, to stop that in its tracks, meaning to stop that on the generation it's on, to not continue to you and not continue to your kids. So if you know somebody who either it runs in their family um, or they may be susceptible to it, feel free to tag them um, below. Feel free to share this live with them. But we're going to go ahead and get right into it again. If you're tuning in live, I'd love to give you a shout out. Uh, comment live below. If you're seeing this on the replay, Feel free to put hashtag replay in the comments. And also, if you're tuning in to one of my lives for the very first time, feel free to comment new below. So with that, we're going to get right into it, man. The first tip of being able to prevent diabetes from happening, go forward in your family, the first tip is getting more physical activity. Being able to get out more do exercises, do some aerobics, do some walking, do something that's actually getting your body to move, getting it to burn calories, getting it to, you know, be able to uh, uh, lose weight, to be able to get out there. And you can make it fun. You can do a variety of different things. So whether it be, you know, like I said, walking, aerobics, um, resistance training, going to the gym, it can be just chores around the house, putting yourself in position to be more physical, to be more active, whether it be playing with the kids, whatever it may be, the first thing to help prevent diabetes from going to another, um, to you or to your kids is being a lot more physically active. Appreciate you uh, hopping on there, uh, DeAndre. The second one is uh, get plenty of fiber. It's statistically known, I'm getting this information from um, a report that was done by the Mayo Clinic on some key things you could do to prevent diabetes going forward. Second thing they talk about is get plenty of fiber. So get plenty of vegetables, fruits, beans, whole grains, nuts. Like if it's tough, chances are it's good for you. So if it's, you know, whole grains, if it's vegetables, if it's beans, if it's uh, nuts, you know, those things can definitely help when it comes to uh, prevention of diabetes. You know, being able to have that in your diet somehow, some way, uh, the more of it you have, the better. The third is making sure of the things that you can do. So fruits, vegetables, nuts, um, grains, make sure to go for whole grains. So when you look at the packages for different cereals or pastas that you may have, make sure that it is whole grains because that is the number three thing. If you're going after grains, make sure it's whole grains because it has a significant um, difference when it comes to uh, lowering your blood sugar levels and um, making sure that everything is still intact uh, with your blood levels. So when it comes to the physical act activity, you know, the number four thing that they said to do is to lose excess weight. So lose belly fat you know of course if you're doing physical activity uh, chances are you're going to do that anyway but they made it specifically to point out uh, to concentrate on the belly fat so if you have access kind of like bulge around the the waistline around the belt area uh, make sure that you focus on getting that you know as normal as you can i know sometimes even for myself personally the bmi number man is so crazy um it's so kind of like out of control as far as how small they want you to be uh health wise but try to get that access you know stomach bulge under control uh, whether it be through abs workout cardio uh, just on a consistent basis more so doing something consistently can make a huge difference 
the five, the fifth way to actually prevent um, diabetes from continuing in your family going forward is being able to skip the fat diet. So skipping uh, the diets that are having you cut out so many different things out of your actual um, regimen, like what you actually eat. Um, because statistics show, again, through the Mayo Clinic, I got this from, is that when you go to these fad diets, you're changing diets every um, you know, six months, or you're trying this diet, trying that diet, a lot of times it doesn't balance your actual nutrition. So you may be missing key nutrients uh, to be able to uh, feed your body. That it is things that it actually does need. So it's more so about portion control when it comes to your eating, when it comes to your diet, that will help you be in a place to keep your body and health normal. So it's not so much cutting out a lot of different things, it's about portion control. So not overeating, not taking in way too much at one time um, in order just to keep that balance going. So the five, uh, five ways, once again, the first one is get more physical activity. Uh, number two, get plenty of fiber. Within that fiber, make sure that you have a concentration to whole grains. Uh, four is lose extra weight. Lose, uh, try your best to lose an extra weight, especially the belly fat. Um, like I said, add it through ab workouts, cardio, uh, torso twist, you can do that. Uh, feel free to Google those things. You can see examples of it. Cousin Federia, what's going on? Appreciate you hopping on. I know it's late. I uh, hope everything in Arkansas is going awesome. Um, but the number five thing is skipping fat diets. With so many different diets out here, it's very easy. Uh, it, a lot of people, you know, including myself in the past, we can get caught up on these different fat diets to burn, you know, excess amount of calories or burn excess amount of fat. But the more the, the key to this is really having a, uh, a portion control uh, so what you can do what you do health wise and diet wise consistently and that will put you in a position to be able to have a higher chance of preventing that disease that come to come to you as well as to go to your kids and um family in the future so i hope you guys got value if you got value out of this feel free to comment below um and again, somebody that you know who either runs with their family, you know, tag them below, share them with them. Love to be able to hear from you. And for individuals that you know that actually already have um, diabetes, if they already have diabetes, um, I actually have access to a special report that is on three steps to beat diabetes. So if you know somebody who has it, feel free to have them private message me. So on the top of my page, on my Facebook profile, click on message, um, have them send me a message that they wanna know the three steps to beating diabetes. So feel free to have them reach out to me. They can message me, just, uh, just say three steps. I don't know exactly what they're talking about. And if you're on this live or seeing a replay and you want the information, make sure to private message me, but also to comment below. So again, I hope you guys got value out of this. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Have a great week. I appreciate you hopping on and you guys have a great weekend as well. Talk to you soon.